Hi, baby dolls. My doll babies. My honey baby sugar dolls. How are y'all doing? This is your Sharon T. Slash your mama T. Slash your doctor T. And mother aliases. I just thought I'd come on real quick. Um, first of all, it's been a long time. And I hope everyone is doing well. Just wanted to do a quick chat. I'm going to make this as short as possible. Um, if I seem kind of out of it, it's because I'm kind of out of it. But to get started, just wanted to let you know I just had surgery. Today is the 3rd. I had surgery on the 30th, which would have been on the 30th. Uh, 30th, I'm sorry, Thursday, like I said, forgive me, um, I had surgery because I was diagnosed with breast cancer, yeah, imagine that, breast cancer, um, it was caught extremely early, it was like that big, it wasn't, it, 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 it was just that small that the mammogram didn't even pick it up but what was going on with me is that I started having this burning sensation um up up here and um like right here and it was it would burn and I would have sharp pains shooting through my breast and I actually thought maybe I was having a uh, maybe like a breast infection or something because it would get it would be hot and you know warm to touch and by me having a knee replacement I can't really um, get infections so I was telling my son and I said you know I have this burning sensation and I said it's getting worse I put it off for maybe like a month before I finally decided to go have it checked and plus it was getting worse so my doctor examined my breasts and he said well you don't have any red streaks um or anything and he said I don't feel any lumps but he said but I do want to I want to go ahead and send you out to get a mammogram and an ultrasound done because he said we need to find out why you're having that burning sensation so he set that up for me. Um, the appointment came very fast, actually. Um, my, my first initial visit was in October, the early part of October, first week, as a matter of fact. So I, I goes to have the mammogram done, and um, um, then they did the ultrasound same day. And I'm looking up at the screen. Um, and you know how ultrasound looks. It has that little grainy screen, you know, picture. But I noticed there was this area that was dark. It was black. And so I said something to the tech. And I said, is, I said, is that some kind of mass or something right there? You know. And she said, yes, it is. And she said, that is very, very concerning. And I was like, ouch, concerning. I said, concerning for what? The last thing I was thinking about is breast cancer. And she says, concerning that there may be some cancer cells there and I was like oh so she said sit right here she said I want to show this to the doctor she may want to do a biopsy and she may order another mammogram well she came back the doctor definitely wanted me to have a biopsy done and I had to get a another get another mammogram because it was it didn't pick it up because it 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 was as high up 
it's not down here. It was up here. So, you know, it's hard to get really something that high up in between those things that mash you, brother. So, she did another mammogram and it still didn't pick it up. So, she, um, I had to talk to a nurse and she was setting up an appointment for me and, um, with a surgeon and I'm like, surgeon, what I need a surgeon for? And, um, and she was setting up an appointment for a biopsy and, but I'm still like, what I need a surgeon for? Well, she wanted me to talk to the doctor um, that day, but I had to, I couldn't stay. I had to leave. And she said, can you come back, which would, would have been on a Friday. And I said, yeah, I can come back Friday because I, I had to be home for something. So I went back Friday and I, um, you know, got to talk to, um, actually it was the nurse practitioner and it was the surgeon's nurse practitioner. So my son, you know, well, let me rewind a little bit. When, after she had set up the appointment, I went out to my car and I just sat there and I was like, wow, what, it, you know, this is unbelievable. They knew from my first initial visit that it was cancer. They knew. But they just couldn't outright just come out and say, you have cancer, Sharon, you know, because, you know, I mean, they knew. But, um, I was in denial, of course, and um, I called my son. I was sitting in the car, and I said, I said, it doesn't look good. He said, what you mean? And I said, I said, think they think I may have cancer. And he was like, what? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, man. And I was like, yeah, you know. So I said, let me pull myself together because I have to drive home. That was the longest drive, y'all. It was hard to concentrate. It was it, it it was just so much stuff going through my head. And I'm telling you, y'all, the first initial visit, it was bam, bam, bam. It was it was fast. They I was diagnosed in October. I had my surgery the 30th, a few days ago. Today is the 3rd. I had my surgery Thursday. They do not mess around. Do you hear me? And um, I goes back that Friday, me and my son, and she's showing Mm, excuse me, I'm I'm having sharp pains. Um, she's going over my film, and um, she was explaining to us that you know women we have cysts filled with water all through our breasts, and you know when you mash on them they'll move. Well. This monster, I call it a monster. Um, it, it was kind of round, but it was kind of not round. It And it, it just had a weird shape to it. And it wasn't moving. It was stationary. And um, let me put it to you this way. She was not letting my son and I leave that office in denial. 
we was coming up with all kind of like, maybe, could it be this? Could it be that? And she was like, no. She said, you know, we, this is what we do here. We see this all the time. And, um, that was that. She still wouldn't, like, confirm it. But they had set up a, a, a biopsy, basically, to confirm what they already knew. So... When we, uh, look, my lump, it was that small. It was, it was so little. I mean, little. And um, the mammogram just didn't pick it up. It was just that small. And, and I was like, well, I thought breast cancer wasn't painful from what I heard. And, um. She said, generally, it's not. She said, but probably your nerves is caught up in the mass. And she was telling us, you know, that the mass is so small. I mean, literally, it was less than a centimeter. So, okay, we're waiting for, now I'm really tripping because... Like I said, she was not letting us leave there um, in denial. So now comes the the emotional, the, oh my gosh, I was just a wreck, y'all. I was just in such an emotional state and just in non-belief, I just... I just couldn't believe it. And I'm like, this isn't real. This, I mean, it was, look, the first visit, they, they pretty much said it without saying it. And I refused to believe it. The second visit, I refused to believe it. Even after she was, like, this is what we do here, and short of saying that's what it was, that's what they were saying. So, I wait, like I said, that everything happens so fast. They, they don't mess around with, they just don't. It was Breast Cancer Month in October. And, um, I was like, wow, y'all don't mess around, do you? And she said, oh, no, ma'am, we don't, we don't mess around. She said, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I said, yeah, I'm aware. Um, I was being sarcastic, cause, um, cause I still wasn't trying to hear that. So when my biopsy appointment came, oh my gosh, y'all. The tests, the, oh my gosh. So they numbed me and they put a marker in there. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't too good either. I didn't like it, you know. And um, I don't know, It I think it aggravated it. So I, I was sore. I was so... I was sore up until my surgery. It, I, it was just tender. And so um, we did that and um, was waiting for the biopsy results to come back. And, you know, if y'all familiar with my chart, you get to see stuff. You get to see what's going on before the doctor, you know, your primary doctor. You see the results right then. So... I I went to my chart and I was diagnosed with invasive ductor ductal duct, ductor carcinoma. I knew what carcinoma meant. I, I cuz I've heard of it before. 
And um, I was like, oh, you have cancer. But I was still like not trying to hear that until I saw the word malignant. And I got the boo horn and I was crying and I called my son. I said, my results are back. And I said, I have breast cancer. And my son, he was tripping and I was like, I can't believe it. I, you know, I I still, even after that, I still was in a state of denial. I just didn't want to accept it. And um, when I finally had my initial appointment with the breast surgeon, it was my son and a friend of mine, um, she was my part of my support system and real good doctor just oh my goodness i had one i had one of the best surgeons she came in and she said she introduced herself and she you know she greets everybody with a hug and she said, you know what? And I said, what? I was just sitting there. She said, I truly love you. And I said, you do? And um, she said, I'm so glad that you listen to your body. And she said, the mass is so small. She said, I mean, it's that small. And um, she said, I've never had a patient with a, a mass that small. I mean, that's just how little it was. But she said that I have, I had it. I've had it for quite some time. It's It, it was a slow growing um, cancer, but in the end, that little that little rascal was was going to try to kill me point blank and simple it would have if i could have waited and waited and waited you know it would have grown to be a very nasty ugly i mean it could have been bad for me but it i mean she said it was just so little you know so this would have been like the going into the second week of November. And she was talking about within two weeks that I was going to have surgery. But I figured because of the holidays and stuff that was going to delay it. <clears throat> nope, nope, nope. They don't play. We went over my treatment plan because she explained explained it like this. She said, picture pulling a weed up from your the ground and a seed falls off the weed and then it starts germinating and then that weed's back. She says that well, first of all, we planned out my treatment, because I, I have to have a treatment um, after I heal. I have to have five days of radiation. And that is to make sure, like a seed from the cancer didn't fall back down so it can start up again to kill it, to kill it, to make, to make sure there's nothing left behind. Um... So I have to have five days of that, of radiation, not a strong dose. I do not qualify for chemo. Um, after the five days, then I'll be on pills for five years. And um, she said, when you have the surgery, you'll be cancer free. But she said, but this is a precautionary um, thing. 
So, um, it's like, okay. And while they were talking and my son was asking questions, I'm telling you, y'all, I zoned out on them. I, I, my body was there, but I was not there. I, I done left the building because I just, I don't know. I just, and then I just burst out and I start crying and stuff. And she said, you are going to be fine. You know, she said, I promise you, you're going to be okay. You know, she said, it is so small, <laughs> you know, and they were, you know, her nurse, my son and my friend and the doctor. And then there was a, a another doctor. They were all excited. You know, I, I was just, I don't know. I was just out of it. Um, it, it, it was just such an emotional, stressful, oh my gosh, it was just so much stress and, I still didn't want to hear that, you know, even though it was excellent news, but the fact that I have it, you know, that was, I was just, you know, and so I'm like, okay, you know, so we, you know, went over my plan after my surgery. Then... I had to have an MRI. Oh, my God. Like I said, everything that, that you had me doing, it was discomfort. So, I had to have an MRI, but I had to lay on my stomach. So, there's this thing that go is hard. You got to lay on it, and it goes up between your breasts. And you're laying on this and you're holding on to this thing and it, you know, you got this hard thing in the middle and you're laying on it. It hurt. It was very uncomfortable. And I'm like, oh, you know, I, I could not wait to hurry up and get, I was, I had to be there like 35, 40 minutes. And, um... After that was over with, I said, did y'all get everything? And they said, yeah, we got some excellent pictures. The picture, that was for the doctor, because um, I wouldn't have been able to understand it, but it was for her use. Um, she needed to know how far down she would have to cut, you know. So that was the purpose of that. She said she's a planner. So after that, I had to go in and have a tag put in. Like a guide. To guide her. Um, to where she had to cut. That didn't feel good. I, I, I was. Oh my gosh. When they was numbing me. It hurt so bad. Because keep in mind. I'm still tender from the first biopsy. I mean. I, I, I am so sore right here then after that um we did that now this is during the week of my surgery so that monday i had to have the tag put in that tuesday i had to go and i had to get blood work done and an ekg wednesday i have to go for this nuclear thing where they shoot this radioactivity stuff in your breast it was a shot. So it was down in the, they gave you the shot down in the nipple area. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. Mm, it hurts so bad. And I said, I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. And um, my son said, mom, that's the last test, you know. The next day, I had surgery. So, everything went well. I have a lot of bruising. You probably can't see it, but it's a lot of bruising. Um, 
the because it, it was so high up. I have a dent right here. Um, it was in an odd. It was in an odd area, but it was way up here. So, I, like I said, I have a dent, and um, I don't know. You probably can see a little bruising. It, actually, it's a lot. The camera's probably not picking it up. And then I can show you this one right here. Um, ah. See the scar? I was cut here. And that's where she took a lymph node out because she wanted to make sure none of my lymph nodes was infected. So she removed one lymph node. You know, if one was infected, then others would be, but none of that. I did none of my lymph nodes were affected. That was a plus. So my my whole breast is just numbed. I can't feel anything, but I do feel the scar here and where they cut me in the nipple area. She kind of gave me like a cosmetic type thing because she said she didn't want a scar coming across my breast. Um, so the surgery took a little longer because she went in in a different area to, um, you know, so I wouldn't have the ugly scar. And um, y'all, um, I'm okay. I'm just sore. Um I was able to finally take a shower because I could smell that anesthesia on me. And um, they had me in a surgical bra, but I washed it out on my hand, so it's drying. And I just so happened to have bought like seven or eight good support bras. And um, I, I, I don't know why I did it. I just did. And um, so soon as that bra gets, you know, when it dries, I have to put that back on. But this, what I have on is very supportive. Um, I am, of course, like I said, I might be a little kind of out of it or look a little out of it because I am on pain medication. But I wanted to just um, come on and... Um, just to tell y'all to please do breast exams, get a mammogram, um, yearly, um, just do it. Um, as I said, the mammogram did not pick up nothing. The ultrasound did. Um, then, here's another. Let me tell you what else I was going through. My daughter, okay, she is expecting her um, a little girl in February. Well, she started having, she developed a lump in her breast. So now here we are. She had to go to a breast doctor. They checking her for cancer. They did a biopsy. They put the clip under her arm because, see, her lymph nodes were swollen. And so they had to put um, a clip in her lymph nodes under her arms and around her nipple area. So we're, we're worried about that. It was just so much stress on me. Um, my daughter... Results came back negative. She has um, fibrosis in her breast. Um, she keep she keeps getting this. She had this abscess and pus and stuff is coming out through her nipple and stuff. And they put her on antibiotics. She go back on the fifth. Um, I guess to see how they're going to treat that. But I am so thankful and so glad, y'all, that she does not have cancer. 
that was the best news I could get before my surgery. We found out Wednesday my surgery was Thursday. And that was just a big burden that was just lifted off of me. And um, so she's, she's, she's good. Um, so all I mean, just take care of, you know, pay, listen to your body. That's what I'm saying. Listen to your body. And if something don't feel right, then it's probably not right. You know, um, I was just fortunate that I had some type of symptom. I thought it was an infection and because I can't get an infection because of my knee replacement, that's what sent me to the doctor in the first place. Other than that, I wouldn't even known I had it, but I kept feeling right here. And I was feeling right here and I said, what is this? Because my right breast has a tendency to be a little lumpy anyway. But every time I mashed down on it, it burnt real bad. And I was like, oh, it would sting and it would get hot. And, and I was like, something's not right, you know. And I said... This has got to be an infection, but it wasn't an infection at all, y'all. So, I wish y'all the best of health. And um, I wanted to come out and tell my story. Um, I know it's been a while. Um, just... Just a lot of, you know, a lot of things going on, you know. It's just, it's always something. And, um, you know, I'm going to try to do better, you know, coming and talking to y'all and seeing what y'all into. But um, I had to come on and tell y'all about this. Um, your Sharon T slash your mama T. Slash Dr. T. Because now I got to start back. Being. Doing surgery on these dolls. <laughs> so. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm good. I'm. I'm cancer free. Um, and. I don't take nothing for granted. This has really, really. Taught me a lot. A, a lot. I I don't take nothing for granted. Um, it was um, it's mind blowing. It was very very mind blowing, and um, it can happen. It can happen to anybody. And the 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 they also said male. Breast, breast cancer is on the rise. So, you males, y'all gotta, you know, check yourselves as well. Um, I had heard of one person that had breast cancer, male breast cancer, and that was Beyonce's dad. Th that's it. I've never heard of a male having it, but yeah, it's on the rise. So, you males... Um, you wives that, you know, have husbands, they need to check themselves as well. So that's about it. I'm going to do a little painting while I'm feeling like it. And then I'm going to, you know, go lay, you know, lay down. I'm not going to overdo it. Um, I can do little light stuff around the house. No vacuuming. Um, I can't do a lot of reaching. Um just take it easy. Um, and that's that's what I'm going to do. Because um, it'll let you know <laughs> if you move the wrong way. It'll let you know. But like I said, I, I'm only in pain around where they cut me. That, that you know. But um, 
they've got me well medicated and um that's about it y'all so with that being said i'm gonna get off of here and lots of love oh i'm gonna try to give y'all hug hugs and kisses Fishy kiss. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye.